Hi y'all, it's Joanne. Welcome. Today I'm excited to be here to kick off Hashtag Forgotten Treasures. It's a new monthly challenge that Lonnie, Lindsay, and I are going to be doing. It'll be the first Friday of every month in 2022. We're starting off today and it will be all about forgotten treasures. Basically, do you have things that you use, you maybe hoard, maybe you use them a while, forget about them, or they get buried under all of our other crafting supplies? If so, I think you'll love this challenge. What we're going to do is every month we'll work with one type of forgotten treasure. Today it's going to be paper. So you can use any kind of paper that you want vellum or digital paper, tracing paper, handmade paper. I'm using mulberry paper. I love this stuff. I, I, yeah, I was saying the other day, I use it for a while, then I forget all about it. It gets buried, and I don't use it for months. So that's what this is all about, digging out those forgotten treasures that we all have. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. If you'd like to join along, all you have to do is put hashtag forgotten treasures in your IG post or video and then link our channels. And like I said, make sure you use the hashtag so your video can get seen too. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you what I have. Um, I went on and made a few just to show you. I just collaged some tags and decorated them a little bit. And I love how they turned out. So I thought I'd uh, do one with you. So let me see. I've got, this is just a half a sheet of card stock. Just for time's sake with the video, I thought I'd just do a half page. And I'm just going to tear out some pieces here. Doesn't matter what shape or anything. Usually I tear them out as I go, but let's just see how we end up with this. Tear that down. Let's just get started with these people. People, listen to me. I'm okay. These pieces. So I'm not going to, you know, pre-plan this too much. I'm just going to get some mulberry paper down. thought about using some other papers too, like digital papers or something along with it, but I think I'm just going to keep it to the uh, mulberry paper for this. Not that you would need to, but that's what I'm doing today. So let's get these pieces down. Really pretty purple, isn't it? Love how you can see the little fibers. I think that's so neat. Mm. Take it easy there. Let's see. Where do we want this? And trim the sides off later. Okay. Just want to use these pieces that I tore off already. Excited to see what everybody else comes up with 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 these. What kind of you know what kind of paper are you gonna use? Do you have a favorite or just something cool that got buried? Doesn't really matter. 
And I think this will be fun throughout the year. Just finding all those buried treasures, you could call them, too. Okay. What else? How about some of this darker blue? Put a little bit of that in. To me using this glue stick. Where am I going to put that? Put it right there. Why not? Do some bigger tags or maybe a journal card or something with this. Oops, need a little blowout patch, don't I? What are you going to use there? Let's see. Have a little bit of this. Yep, that'll fill in. lighter color. I haven't used too much of this. Cut that, or tear that straight edge off. got little specks of green in it. I don't know if you can see that. What about just the plain white? We haven't used any of that. some white showing through. Maybe I'll, what do we want to put? We bought that purple. Don't have too much of that. Just going to get a long thin piece, I think. And why not? Why not? Feels kind of jarring. Some of these strands are so thick you can't really tear them. Tear the edge off of that. Do it 
like that. What the heck? All right, let's trim this and see where we are. See what we end up with. I think this would be real pretty too if you did a combination of the mulberry paper and some other paper, some, you know, pretty digital or something. Combine the two. Okay, let's get this out of here. Sticking to me. Which way do we want it? Well, honestly, I don't guess it matters because I'm not really going to do anything but cut it in half. This is what we end up with. I think those are nice. A couple of what do you call it uh, bases. Then I pulled out a few tags here. So we can do something like that. Hmm. I think I like it like this. I'm going to just trim this down a little. Do we want to do this or do we want to look for something else? in your face. Just got some of my ladies. That's pretty too. Gosh, I don't know what I want now. Hmm. And we've got her. It's real pretty. The colors look nice. What do y'all think? And we've got her. I think all of these are nice. I'm not sure which one I want. Let's see. We've got, no, that's the same size. But this one's trimmed in ink. What else? Uh, I think I do want her. Trim that a little bit. Gonna get some ink on here. And I'll just do a little of the pink. can't decide here. I think I like her. She's kind of neat looking. Let's just ink her up a little bit. Do it like that or we could put her off to the side. What do we want to do? Put the top on that before it gets all gunky. All right, let me look over here a minute. What do we want? Nope, I don't think I want that. About a little bit of, uh, what do you call it? Oh, good grief, what 
do you call this stuff? Can't believe I've forgotten the word. Huh. Imagine that. Cheesecloth. There you go. Put some of that on it. Choices. Let me just a thinner layer of this. Yeah, I don't think I want too much of it. Let me use my fabric tack. Just put some down first. Then get some on the card. Okay. And then decide where we want to trim it. curled up at the bottom like that. Okay, let's fold this up. And I'm going to do the uh, worn lipstick. Let's get some ink on here. Well, I'm happy with how these are all turning out. Maybe we should put a word or something, a word or a number. What do you think? Go ahead and ink this while I'm at it. Just a little bit. Oops. That was more than a little bit, but okay. This little teacup. Isn't that a pretty teacup? Just got that at the thrift store. Handmade with love. I honestly can't decide what I want to put on here. What's this? Courage, dear heart. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, I'm just gonna. What about. Oh, what about a little piece of this? Well, I absolutely cannot decide what I want to put on here. And I don't want y'all to just sit and wait for me to decide. I'm going to put this down and go from there. There we go. Let's see. What about, what about a little piece of this? Yeah, that might work.
And the good thing is we can always go back and add more, right? I don't know. I can't decide on that. All right. I think I am going to leave it like that for now. I may go back and add some bling or add something to these. I'm not sure. But that's that. And then we have these. I think they all came out cute. I love the mulberry paper. Let me know what you think of it. And do you use it? So, I thank you for being here for our kickoff on our new challenge. Um, please join in. Until next time, happy crafting.